Hey guys, welcome back to Patch Playthroughs. Now this is not a gaming playthrough. This is something a little bit different because I want to start doing non-playthrough videos as well. Not just vlogs, but sort of just something different. Some, you know, a bit of variety. You can't go wrong with a bit of variety. Um, so I had a th I had a chat about it with one or two people. I, you know, had a long time thinking about it and um, just to start things off, set the ball rolling. Um, I'll sort of do like a weekly video, like a vlog, where I'll take a question that someone's asked me or whatever and I'll explore the answer. Um, and this first question came from Mr. Ben Baker, who appears to be the the top supporter of my channel. Um, I know there's not many supporters currently, but yeah. Um, and he said I should talk about five people who have influenced me most in life in sort of not not any specific area of my life just in general um, which is a really good question um, very difficult to nail down five specific answers and I've sort of I've got three specifics and I've sort of generalized the other two but will allow that I think you know <laughs> um, so yeah in inspiring people um, well obviously um, we might as well start off with sort of who inspired me to do my gaming channel because that's what you're watching this on now you know um, I came across YouTube playthrough videos uh, last year sometime Maybe sort of last spring, summer time. Um, because the, f the first video I came across, it was a compilation that someone had made of people reacting to the original Slender game. I think, the Slender, I think that had just come out, so the, the Slender craze had just gone huge. Because I'd heard about it, and I didn't know what it was, so I, you know, I looked it up. And, um, this compilation video was quite funny. It was a lot of different people's reactions. And the first person that I could actually identify from it afterwards was um, a guy called Yami Mash um, and he's from the UK from down south um, he's called Aaron Ash that's why he's called Yami Mash um, and he was quite good so I looked him up and subscribed to him watched a few videos thought it was quite good through him I found his friend Arrow in the Knee a guy called Shane um, I found him because they did Minecraft videos together quite funny they have some sort of good banter between them um, so I looked up his channel subscribed to him um, at this point I also identified another person from the um, the compilation video that I watched initially as a guy called Storpy Steve Torpy another UK gamer from down south uh, and he's just amazing it's just the fact that he gets so scared like the slightest little things will make him not want to play a game and then he just happens to play the scariest games out there It's uh, it makes great entertainment it really does but it must really do a number on him psychologically <laughs> um, and through him I found Sparrow Mella who's she's not a massive youtuber but she's got a decent sized following and she does good playthrough videos as well um, and when I started up my channel um, I actually spoke to Sparrow Miller um, and Arrow in the Knee about sort of you know I asked them for tips and things and they were both really really helpful and I appreciate the help that they've given because you know this channel wouldn't exist if it wasn't for their help which is great um, but the main inspiration behind me wanting to do my own channel came when I discovered Markiplier who's from the US He's um, when I found him he was at uh, 20,000, 20 odd thousand subscribers um, so you know that's quite a respectable audience I mean I've only got 50 56 subscribers or something like that <laughs> there's a lot more than mine um, but I just found him so entertaining because he's so such a loud personality and also you watch his vlogs he's such a genuine guy as well um, 
and he does it all for his audience and that. Um, he did drunk Minecraft videos, which I found hilarious. Um, through Markiplier, I found all these great games, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my own channel, and I want to play these games myself. You know, so that was really sort of the starting point, but I'll, if I could narrow one down, it would have to be Mark, because I've watched him grow from 20 odd thousand subscribers to what he's got now, which is somewhere within the region of 260,000 subscribers. That's over a quarter of a million. Um, and he is inspiring, not because of his genuine personality, not because of his entertainment, but the things that he does, he does charity live streams. He's just done one this weekend on Saturday, um, where the target was, I think it was 15,000. They were raising $15,000 for Alzheimer's. By the end of it, they got 17,000. And they did it in about, I can't remember, it was at least six hours, I think, it took. Um, and as well as that, they got cut off halfway through, so they had to swap the website that they were using. Um, but they still managed to meet the target in a ridiculously short amount of time. And uh, you know, he does. That's that's the thing. That's that's why he's a success, and that's why he's so good. Because you know, he does these charity live streams. He done it. You know, every time he there's a big donation, he he matches it and adds to it. Like almost like a competition. Like so, someone donates like I don't know five hundred dollars. He'll donate five hundred and one dollars, and then someone will donate five hundred and two, and he'll donate another five hundred and three. So he gives a lot of money of his own as well. You know, he always adds to it. Um, you know, and it takes a lot to be that kind of person, and I just find that really inspiring. And you know, I hope that if I can get somewhat of a respectable audience myself I would like to do the same thing I'd like to do charity live streams you know I'm, I'm partnered and will eventually be making some money off this channel I don't want the money I want to get, I want to earn the money to give it to charity because I've got a well-paid job I don't need extra money so I think it would be better going to a charity so but anyway I've rambled on enough about that so that's one one down and we're nearly eight minutes in <laughs> um, so yeah um, for those of you who don't know me personally um, gaming and this gaming channel is not actually the biggest thing in my life um, aside from being a full-time psychiatric healthcare support worker um, I'm a musician I play sort of gigs every now and again I do open mic nights every two weeks you know I a live musician and I try and play reg as regularly as I can. Um, I've been a musician my whole life and it is the biggest thing in my life. Um, and there's sort of two main inspirations in my life that I can pick out uh, musically. And the first one is the person that really sort of made me want to get a guitar and um, be a rock star. Now, I got a guitar when I was about four years old because my brother had got a guitar. Um, and obviously, you know, big brother, look up to him. If he's got a guitar, then I want one. <laughs> you know, that's that uh, typical sibling relationship there. But I really decided that I wanted to be a rock star uh, when I first heard the song Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. Because I'd never heard the band before. Um, and I just listened to it when I was a kid. And I thought, that guitar is awesome. And my brother told me about him, it was Jimmy Page, he was his guitarist. And as I got older, I listened to my Led Zeppelin. I looked at when, you know, when we finally got a computer and we could look up the internet and stuff, I researched Led Zeppelin, researched Jimmy Page. And I just, he is awesome. I've, I've, I, I will never run out of good things to say about Jimmy Page. Um, and he has totally influenced me musically. I mean, I've been playing guitar since I was four years old. I'm 22 now, so I've been playing for a long time. Um, and definitely, when you look at sort of how I play a sort of electric guitar, it's very Jimmy Page inspired. I improvise a lot. I'm very bluesy, um, and that's just that's just how I've 
developed and I, I love playing sort of all these sort of Zeppelin-y blues jams and stuff it's sort of my, it's probably my favourite thing to do ever um, it's like I went to a, a jam night once I got really drunk and ended up on stage playing rock and roll um, there's a video of it on YouTube somewhere because um, I've got a bunch of I've got a music channel if anyone's interested I'll link it in the description um, but somewhere on YouTube or on Facebook it might actually be on Facebook um, there's a video of me playing this Zeppelin cover drunkenly with a bunch of other really talented musicians there's me there playing it drunkenly doing a half decent job um, to say that I was absolutely wasted on Stellar Artois um, which I didn't actually know that I was drinking <laughs> um, but oh, I was having the time of my life it was the best thing ever there's no happier place for me than being on stage in front of a crowd I never get nervous I get more excited which some people might find odd but that's just how it is I absolutely love being on stage I love it's it is heaven as far as I'm concerned I would happily play on it stand on the stage and play for a crowd for the rest of my life I would be happy um, but then looking at the other inspiration um, some people might not expect this the people that know me but um, there's a guy in America called Bryce Avery and he fronts the band called the Rocket Summer and that's his solo project um, and I came across this guy a few years ago at Slam Dunk Festival in Leeds um, he's one of the headline acts um, and he me mainly he's an inspiration because the way he sort of lives his life and he sort of has his music career is practically I identical to how I'd want to do it you know when he makes his albums he records every instrument himself he does all the singing he does all the production he does you know he does everything himself and then when he plays live he gets a band together to tour with him um, and that's how I've always wanted to do things you know I've just made my album done it all myself aside from a couple of singing a couple of vocal tracks that I've got my friend Pippa to do because um, she's got a a sexy funky voice that is far better than mine but fits these songs so well um, but yeah you know I've done, I've done you know, the rest is on me and I've written everything and I haven't recorded everything because I'm still learning production techniques and stuff like that I'm not skilled enough as of yet to record my own album perfectly and do all the mastering and mixing and stuff but I'll get there eventually and that's what I want to do um, but as well as that you know, people always ask me if I'd want, ever want to be famous. Well, fame would be nice, but I won't want to be on sort of the level of fame where you, you're in the papers all the time. Sorry, my hair's a mess. <laughs> uh, you know, where you're in the papers all the time, where people are sort of writing out articles about you all the time and coming up with slanderous stories and shit about you all the time. You know, I don't want to be in Morrissey. <laughs> I don't know, because you end up being hated by everybody. Because um, fuck Morrissey. <laughs> um, no, but um, The Rocket Summer, for example, they have enough fame where they can tour any, any country in the world. And, you know, they do. They tour all over the world. They get a decent crowd for every gig. You know, they, uh, you know, they make, you know, they do well off the top. But they're not that well known. They're not sort of, you know, headlining you know Leeds Festival or anything like that they're not massive but they're just right if you know what I mean you know I, I you know it's like you know I've got you know some friends of mine are in a band called Random Hand from Keithley you know they they've just come back from playing in places like Russia and by the sounds of it they've had the time of their life they're not the biggest band in the world but they've got a good enough following to be able to play in those places and have decent crowds and that and that's what I want, that's what I really want. I would be happy with that level of fame, musically. It would be perfect, you know. But yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, um, don't worry, there's not much left to say. <laughs> I know that I've rumbled on an incredible amount. But um, yeah, inspiring people. I'll generalize these last two because obviously there's my family who've got me through a lot. Obviously, I've, I followed in my dad's footsteps with my career, working in mental health, because that's what he's done for God knows how many years. 
Um, we, work, we instantly we work in the same place now, um, which is quite fun. Um, my mum's bailed me out of so many problems and situations. You know, I can't even begin to count, and always has been there for me. And you know, I wouldn't be here without either of them. You know, they've done so much for me, and you know, that's obviously an inspiration. You know, it can't not be. And other than that. My friends, um, I've not really had a massive amount of friends throughout most of my life. It's only really the past sort of twelve months where I've built up a decent sort of social group, and it's still new to me. I'm still getting used to it, um, but it's it's the best thing. Just you know. It might sound weird, but it's the best thing having friends and people that you can count on. And you know, like I said, it's new to me. Um, I've always been a bit of a, a lone wolf, as they say. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, my friends and that continue to be inspiring, and you know, they're always supporting me. And you know, it's it's amazing to see sort of um, you know I. I Obviously, it's like it's lovely to see my friends succeed, and you know I'm always there spotting them. But it's when they sort of mirror that for me, it's 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 remarkable, and you know, yeah. <laughs> I'll um, I'll stop rambling now because this has turned into a far longer video than I wanted it to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna do a weekly sort of discussion on a certain topic or point. If you have any that you'd like to recommend, or if you'd like, if you have a subject that you want to see me talk about, um, let me know in the comments sec comments section. Let me know on Facebook. You know, just either whichever way you want to let me know. Just let me know. Um, so yeah, thanks guys, and I will see you next time.